Good morning, Calvary Chapel Him and family. My name is Danny Harder out here to share this morning's Heart to Home morning devotion with you guys. Uh, super blessed as always just to be able to share with what the Lord has put on my heart uh, with you guys. And uh, I just pray that the Lord ministers to you as well as it has me. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Psalms chapter 27 verses 14. And uh, as you guys turn there and open your notebooks or and whatnot, I'm going to open up in a word of prayer. Father God, Lord, we just thank you for this morning, God. We just thank you for the opportunity that you've given us to be able to dive into your word. And uh, Lord, I just pray that uh, ears are attentive, hearts are sensitive, and uh, your word is proclaimed, Jesus. Give, we give you all glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Psalms chapter 27, verse 14 reads, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You know, one of the worst uh, words a person can hear at any given point of the day is wait. Um, to wait means uh, growing stressed when someone is uh, late picking you up. Uh, to wait means standing for a really long time in a really long line at the DMV. To wait means to agonize in the ER with a broken arm while others with more serious injuries are ahead of you. To wait means you don't get your dinner right away. You don't get the answer right now. You don't get to binge watch the next episode of your favorite TV show because it's not out yet. Oftentimes, the word wait might seem like it's against you. So then, how could you ever be strong and take heart when those moments of waiting keep getting piled on more and more? Well, what if God might just have something to say to you during those in-between times. Instead of filling our souls with clutter all day, what might happen if we saw those halting moments as opportunities to turn our hearts towards the Lord? God doesn't plan for us to squirm in frustration if something doesn't happen in our timing. God actually wants to uh, us to do something if we find our plans halted in time. God wants us to wait actively. He wants us to seek him in those down times. Pursue his answer. Listen to his voice. Learn his will. And take advantage of those moments. God wants you to stay with him. And sometimes what he does in the middle of the waiting time is even more significant than what he does in the get up and go moments. If you're a Marvel movie fan, you know about waiting for those special post credit scenes at the end of those movies. Those scenes might give a sneak peek into the future storyline or provide a glimpse into something continued from the movie. Whatever the scene shows, you have to wait until the credits are over. And usually those scenes are worth the wait. And oftentimes add a fun addition to the already awesome movie. But guess what, church family? Waiting for the Lord is worth it even more. God has a plan. And even though sometimes it doesn't look the way we expect, we can trust him. He has something awesome waiting for you at the end of every mini scene in your life. The best part is we don't have to wait until this life is over to know that God loves us. He adores us. We just need to trust in his intentions for us. Let's pray. Father God, Lord, we just thank you again for this morning, God. And Lord, as we wait on you, God, I just pray that we can trust in your intentions. Lord, and that everything that you've promised us since the beginning of time up until now will come to pass as long as we continue to be faithful to you. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.